Gauth Math helps with your math. Welcome to Gauth Math. Function is one of the best tools to explain changes in the world since it originated from the fundamental understanding of changes. Now let's go through the development of function over the past 2000 years. In ancient Greece, people started to realize that there were variables and functions in every movement, but the idea wasn't developed much until the 14th century. A priest named Oresma brought up a mind-blowing idea which was to present the concept of speed on graphs. He used a horizontal line to represent time, known as longitude, and a vertical line to represent speed, which is known as latitude, and a line segment on the graph to show the movement of speed as it gradually decreased to zero. Therefore, before the definition of function came up, graphs had become part of its origin. After about 200 years, Galileo and Descartes developed the concept of function. During that period, the development of science thrived. People started to realize that most of the objects on Earth are moving, including the Earth itself. Plenty of movement questions sprung up in astronomy, marine navigation and cartography fields, waiting to be answered. Indeed, these questions were all related to function. Hence, Descartes introduced the core key to the definition of function, variations. It's Leibniz who finally defined function as the combination of variables and constants. His student, Bernoulli, emphasized that function should be expressed by formulas. However, later mathematicians suggested that the concept of function shouldn't be limited to formulas. As long as some variables change, other variables also change with them. This should be considered as a function. In 1755, the famous mathematician Euler defined the function as a function of a variable quantity is an analytic expression composed in any way whatsoever of the variable quantity and numbers or constant quantities. In his definition, formula is less important while variation was emphasized. Then, in 1837, German mathematician Dirichlet pointed out that it doesn't matter how to build the relationship between variables x and y, as long as there exists an independent value of y that corresponds to the value of x. y is a function of x. This is the main concept of the definition of function. In fact, there were rarely concepts like function, which took people a long time to define it, even though people had used function in many cases before the definition was completed. You might have learnt linear function, quadratic function, trigonometric function, power function, exponential function, and others. These are all elementary functions. In addition, there are other functions like transcendental functions that you might get to learn in the future. No matter how far the journey will be, let's begin with your first step, the easiest function, linear function. Let's take a look at this question. Among all the options, which one does not represent a function? Now we know that to be defined as a function, the condition is that for any given x, it has to have and only have one y value. Take a look at option A. For any x value, there are two y values correspondingly, so a does not represent a function. The x value in option b, c, d only has one y value accordingly, so the correct answer is a. Have more questions about linear function? Find an expert to help you on our app, Gauth Math. Homework solver, step by step.